Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and you are watching Backup Baba. I hope uh, you all are doing great and thanks for giving so much love to my previous videos. If you have not watched my previous videos, please go back to my channel and watch the videos which I have uploaded. So today in this video, we are going to install a file system agent on a Windows server. And I guess you must be aware like file system agent is used to uh, take the file and folder level backup and also if you are planning to take the system level backup so before wasting the time uh, let's start the installation process so i have already downloaded the convo software uh, version 11 sp30 into e drive so right click on the setup click run as administrator A pop-up will come and it will ask to choose the language uh, so you need to choose the language as per your country so here I'm keeping it default clicking next so now clicking I agree if you want to read the license agreement you need to click on this URL now clicking next so in the installation type you will get a two two option uh, install package on this computer or create a custom package so we are doing the installation on this file server uh, so we will choose the first option now clicking next so in the install option you will get a three option so if you are doing a fresh installation of comserv then you need to select the first option if you have already uh, deployed a comserv then you need to choose the second or third option so i am going to choose the second option because we have already uh, deployed a comserv now click next so now coming to uh, the select so, uh, role section so here i am going to choose the file server role uh, because we are going to install a file system agent which is residing under the file server so if you want to learn more about these roles you just need to click on this url and a web page will open and there uh, you can read out like what packages are residing under which roles now clicking next so here it is asking for the installation path so i am keeping it default and clicking next so in the installation summary uh, it is saying like what packages i have selected and what are the required packages that will get installed by default and what are the third party software that will also get uh, installed by default now clicking next So uh, the prerequisite is going to install. As you can see, the installation pro process has started and uh, the file system agent has started uh, copying. And after that, it will get a start down uh, installing. Yeah, so the file system agent has started installing. Now it's installing the maintenance release, which is the hotfixes. So in the client computer information it is asking for the client name and host name so our file server name is the file server only so we are just keeping it default and clicking next so in the next uh, section it is asking for the com serve name so we need to put the host name of the com server here so we have already uh, deployed a com serve so let me ping from here so our com serve host name is agni so and ip is 1.1 so let's put Agni in the comserv name section. Now click next. So it is trying to gather information from the comserv. Yeah. So here in the server authentication, we need to provide a credential for the comserv. So our username is admin. And now keeping in the password and clicking next. So now through, uh, through this authentication, uh, it will fetch uh, the info, the policies uh, from the com serve. So here we have not created any policy yet. So that's why it is blank. So now clicking next.
So now it is trying to uh, restart the services of this file server. And so this is the last step. Uh, the client is trying to register itself on the com serve. So the request has sent to com serve. Uh, yeah. So as you can see, the installation and configuration completed successfully. So now I'm clicking on finish button. And now uh, we will go to the com serve uh, and check like uh, the client has added there or not. So now we have moved to the com serve. Uh, so here we will check the like the client has uh, uh, added or not. So let's open the com serve console. Now here is asking for the username and password. So our username is admin. Now typing the password and click OK. So now uh, we have logged in into the console console. Uh, now, now let's uh, check uh, like the client has been added here or not. So let's move to the client computer. So yes, we can see uh, a client has been added uh, with the name of file server, uh, which we have installed a few minutes back. And we are good to go to take the backup of this file system now. So that's it for today's video, guys. I hope uh, you have learned how to install the file system agent on any Windows server. Uh, please don't forget to uh, hit the like and subscribe button and please let me know uh, on what topic uh, you want to see the next videos and uh, please share this video in your connections if somebody is looking to learn the Convol software that will definitely uh, going to help them. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Take care.